getting ready this morning, about to go to a small little meetup with a friend of ours, talk some business, um, just catch up, see how things are going. Then we're going to be doing a, going to this nasty ass quarter clean out and giving an estimate, massive, massive job. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that we close it. Let's get to it. We are here at Rosie's. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Um, it's connected to like a thrift store, antique shop, and so everything on the wall you can purchase <laughs> throughout this whole place. Which is pretty interesting. Good meeting, Kyle. Hey, yeah, that was great. Again. Definitely. Cool little environment. Cheap food, tastes good. Great little meeting. Learned a lot. Talked about a lot. Now Kyle's gonna call this lady and we're gonna see about going to do this crazy ass estimate. We are on the way to this crazy ass clean out. So we are two minutes away. We're gonna about to pull up and show you what we're dealing with. One mile. We're not gonna be getting rid of the cars, but boy, what the fuck is this place, dude? Oh my god damn. This is just a fucked job. I don't even want to do this job. What the fuck? There's a path over here. This is fucked. You guys see this? This is definitely like a multi thousand, 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 thousand dollar job. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is crazy. This is like, what the fuck? I don't even know. What is going on, dude? Like, I don't know where the front of the house is or anything. I mean, this is absolutely fucking bonkers. Oh my God. <laughs> that made me jump. This is a fucking fake ass snake. Stupid ass snake. Okay, so I guess inside the back. Oh wow, this is nuts. Shit. I'm just gonna document this whole process. Look, there's fucking little mini roaches everywhere. Oh, what the fuck is this place? Bro. Definitely gonna have to break this down into sections like we told her. Fucking, we'll do the house as an estimate. Yeah, we did by rooms too. It's too hard to, I feel like it'll be too hard to calculate the rooms as far as like being like left room, right room. I don't know. Let's take a look. Obviously, what the fucking crackhead shit. Right here's is one bedroom right here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to turn off the camera real quick. I'm going to start totaling this up and I'll keep filming like this is the living room this is wild so all right this is I guess you'd call this the back room from the front door because the front door is over there so this would be I guess the back room so that's actually the master bedroom because this is the master bath which is fucking just absolutely disgusting and nasty I mean Holy fuck, be a dead body in here. Yuck. Mm, holy fuck, fuck. All right, coming back through, Kyle's back there on the, on the sunroom. This is so fucking nasty. It was like a fire, anything to burn this whole house. So front door is that way. So this is back sunroom. Yeah, they're burning something. I don't know what the fuck they doing over there. But. <laughs> Crazy how you can let a pool like this, it's pretty cool, but let an area like this go to such hell. Wow. And we didn't move this pool enclosure. <laughs> 2000. Any more, 2500. 
and this is definitely just one of the massive ass jobs and this job is gonna be one for the ages we're gonna have to fucking do uh let's go we're gonna have to definitely get help definitely get machines definitely get dumpster rentals i mean this is not going to be a a box truck and go unless she just wants to do it load by load which would be two thousand dollars for a 26 foot box truck and we would just fill it up and go until you know it's done for but i don't think that's what she's wanting to do so never know until you find out but we are going to have to do a serious estimate this isn't just a look and go we're going to have to figure out where to dump how much it's going to cost for dumpsters all types of stuff so this is what we're looking at in the main living room family room area and then we still have back there all right now we're walking through the fucking dungeons of here at least electricity works this is crazy ceiling falling in in the bathroom oh god the bathroom an easy 150 maybe even less yeah probably 150 for the bathroom is there any shit in there? i don't know that might work, so the plumbing should work. Hey, don't, <laughs> they got a bunk bed. They said they need bunk beds. Sorry, we're not taking this down. Oh, to, can we donate it? We're not donating this 30 miles or 30 minutes to Daytona. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is, a, I guess, a kid's room, spare room. All right, so that's like 100, actually. Do 450, 500 for that room. And this room. Okay. Cat shit right there at the door, that's nice. This shit leads out to the pool room. Don't know what's in that closet, but if it's anything like that, even if it's closed, it can only be a foot and a half deep. And we got a big ass dresser. So. All right, so right now we're just figuring out like rough estimates. We'll be coming down on the price as far as figuring out a bulk price. Um, for the whole thing after we get everything. But right now, as far as all the rooms go in the house, we are looking at about a $5,900 job for the inside of the house as far as all the rooms go. So let's go off to the next part of the property. All right, you got this fucking, this is the outside of the house, the back patio or deck, whatever you wanna call this. Um, outside of this little gate area, you got a bunch of five gallon paint buckets, don't know what's in them, a couple pallets or whatever. And then uh, the air conditioning unit would say, but these hot water tanks would be going, a treadmill, all this stuff, pretty wild. And then you have this. Thank you. What? All right, this is what we're looking at. We're estimating around up to Kyle's car, if you can see it up there, right behind that tree. Um, that's Kyle's car. We're estimating this whole driveway area would be the first thing that we would have to do, obviously, to have access to even get to the house. And we're looking at about 5K for everything that you see in front of me up to Kyle's car, not including the actual car. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. All right, so we were inside the house. Now we're outside of the house. <laughs> I guess they're burning some of this garbage um, as much as they can, at least. And uh, now we're about to go inside here and then we got a giant barn next to it, I guess. So let's get to it. Oh shit. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. We might just start burning shit too. So that's the back side of the house. You can't even go inside this room because there's so much shit. So we'd probably have to prop open that back door as well. And then again, here's the barely able to get in here. So here's the outside of this barn. 
This barn is massive. Front door won't even open, so hopefully there's a door in the back. If not, what the fuck? <laughs> so this property is gonna be. This is gonna be a crazy cleanup. So so just gonna be a lot of dumpsters and machine usage. This is crazy. It does indeed. Yeah, it's like we were gonna we were doing this estimate to be nice, but there's no way we're gonna. There's the back door that's <laughs> shit's falling out. Holy shit! There's no way we're gonna be able to do this for some low price. I mean, this is literally <laughs> this is crazy. So that's the back door. Yeah, so you can't even fucking. It's just packed. This is the back door of that shed, and then just out here is easily another fucking fifteen hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Damn, fucking nuts. So we've been, we've been this is a random section way off to the side of the property. Um, where we wouldn't be removing that fence, but with some pallets, random chairs, a whole bunch of random stuff like that. Very interesting. How long have we been here? Quite a bit, huh? Yeah, this is um pretty nuts. And then, yeah, luckily the front of the property is up there, so this is the last section. But yeah, like Kyle said, just everything in front of here. Just talked to some cool guys that are removing some metal for the property. Um, kind of just if we get this job, that's two pieces of labor. So we would be very appreciative of their help. We need uh, you know, if we get this job, we're gonna need as many hands as we can, and we ain't gonna be able to do this with just two guys. So. Let me take a look, if you don't mind. Pop that garage door open. It's pretty crazy, but nothing is, nothing stacked up to the roof, at least. All right, 1,000%, the craziest estimate we've ever done. We're gonna put all of the photos and everything up for a picture. Um, so now I think you might have something stuck in your tire. <laughs> this is so much crazy shit. Um, I'm gonna check that out real quick, but I'm gonna throw up all the pictures today on a before an, or a, on a a video to see what other people would charge. But aside from that, I think I was just tripping here or something. Yeah, it's literally just like pieces of wood and shit. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna. Oh God damn it! Uh, dead space in my videos all right do a quick little pee there too so anyways i'm gonna throw up all the pictures i took and do kind of like a what would you charge video on instagram and tiktok or whatever um this video will or that'll be posted before this video but this video definitely got more of the full effect you know you guys kind of get the the better version of everything it's longer but you guys get literally everything and you're gonna see how or you already saw how crazy that fucking property is by the end of this video i'll let you know what we're gonna end up charging as far as the quote goes but um we are headed back now to the house i guess put that quote together and get ready for a business after hours and um we're gonna see what other people would charge for that giant monstrosity in the meantime and uh hopefully you know we're gonna get the job but who knows, because it's just one of those crazy ass jobs where, I mean, it's just massive, massive, massive amounts of bullshit and who knows how long it's gonna take, so. Fingers crossed. In 4.8 miles, to right east toward Daytona Beach. Mm. Tell us about it. Mm. Still cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're filming? You got that excited. <laughs> He's like, mmm, talk to me. It's still cold. <laughs> All right, guys. Are you ready for the grand finale? Um, we still have to do figurations on what it's going to cost us. So I don't know how to, or I'm not going to be able to tell you all on this vlog exactly. It, one, if we got the job. And two, how much this job is uh, going to cost us. But I will break down the entire pricing for you all real quick. Um, and then, you know, 
just based on you know normal expenses and stuff and then of course including the scrapyard I just and doing junk removal I know for a fact that we're not gonna um be too far off on this as far as like you know we would do this one by sections to um you know what is oh two I know for a fact that we wouldn't spend that much in exp in fees um it'd be more rental and expenses and stuff but even then on the grand total of this, I can't see spending more than 50% on expenses and supplies as long as I did my math right. But we still do have to figure some things out. So this isn't, I haven't sent the quote yet, but this is a rough estimate. So on the entire inside of the home that you all saw, we're looking at about $6,000 for the outside of the house, including the front driveway. Um, and so the inside of the house, also includes the back porch and the sunroom and a pool enclosure uh, area that you saw. Um, and then outside of the house is gonna include the back outside gate where those paint cans were at. The entire front driveway that I already told you would be like $5,000 pretty much. So 5,000 for that whole area in front of the house. And then the jungle gym and trampoline that I zoomed into. So we'd be looking at about $6,275 for that. The outside back of the the shed on the outside back of the house, looking at $1,900 uh, for the inside and outside. Back of the barn um, or the back barn, the big one right next to it that we couldn't even go inside, taking a shot in the dark on the inside um, and doing 3,000 for the inside, 2,000 for the outside based on what we could see. So 5,000 for that. The barn next to the driveway, which was the final barn that we did um, and that's going to be the outside the inside and then the piles of trash next to the driveway and on top of a small trailer they had don't think the trailer is going to be removed but even if it is that can be additional and that's not a priority so that is going to be $3,100 pretty sure I went over everything but the grand total would come out to $22,275 they got a bid for twenty to twenty thousand. I'm pretty sure uh, was, or yeah, twenty to twenty one thousand was the bid that they received already. So then I did a bulk pricing discount for three thousand dollars, coming down to a grand final total of nineteen thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars. So uh, fingers crossed. Still got to do a little bit of quick maths before we actually send the quote off, but we are going to go ahead and get it started and um, enter all of these details and shit into it. And then with that being said, we will keep you updated, not today on this vlog, but on the following uh, vlogs um, on if we get the get the job. And then, of course, if we do get the job, you're going to see some crazy ass fucking clean outs. So again, so far, before doing some additional research and double checking on pricing and stuff, we're looking at $19,275 for the entire clean out. So. In about an hour and a half, we are going to a networking get together after hours event, hang out with some people. And um, so we'll keep you updated with that. Until then, like I said, gonna finish up this quote, look into some details and get some food in the belly. We broke that quote down into four separate pieces of completion. I uh, did, uh, did end up sending the quote for 19,275. And uh, we gave her a call, let her know that we broke it down into sections, that we can do it in different um, for in different amounts of completion. Um, would need a 25% deposit, which would be about $4,800. And so we are just gonna play it by ear, see what we uh, see, what we see, hear what we hear, get back and do what we can do. So I'm about to head off to the entrepreneur group meeting. Gonna be fun, um, get a couple drinks and vibe with some people and Fingers crossed for the job. We will keep you updated on us getting it because I know we're going to. Off by Simon Guitar by all the artists that are playing this weekend. 
We got the weekend going on all weekend long. Uh, tomorrow we're at Chase on the Beach. Then uh, we're at, uh, from 11 to 3, then we're at the Hub uh, at night. And then we'll be back here to John at the Streamline Hotel Sunday from 3, uh, excuse me, 11 to 3. So we got a heck of a weekend lined up, so stay tuned. Always a good time vibing with the game. We're finishing the night off with a good old steak and shake steak burger. God damn. We'll catch you later. After I spice this bitch up with some red pepper. I'm warning you now, that's going to be the end of the vlog. So get ready. The end of the vlog. Coming soon, your boy a little, ooh, make a mess. Your boy a little tipsy. Feeling good. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.